Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. Welcome to my show. My name's Jake. It's not Thursday, but I do have a new beer here for you. Don't forget you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on Untap YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. I like to tell them. Um, I will tell you a story. I've got lots of them. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because then more people get to see me. Who doesn't want to see me? So the beer I've got for you today is by Big Deal Brewing. It's their Golden Ale, the original. Um, it's brewed by Labatt also. Uh, let's see, what, is, what does it say on the back here? The Spit and Chicklets crew is excited to announce Big Deal Brewing. Its first and signature offering, the original, is a refreshing golden ale. It's inspired by retired hockey player Paul Bizonet's ideal beverage, Biz and the boys know that hockey fans have been waiting for a new splash in the beer game for a long time. What better way to give them what they want than to partner with Labatt USA, the makers of the best-selling Canadian beer on a series of exciting new premium recipes. No BS. Just refreshing, high-quality, drinkable beers, starting with the original. Uh, it's 4.9% golden ale. It should be pretty good. Let's get this thing started. A bigger glass, so I know for sure that it'll hold all of it, because it's a bigger can. Um, it's at least a pint, and this will hold at least a liter and a half, because it says so on the side here. Or, I'm sorry, maybe that's just 0.5 liters right there. Which could be a problem. Yeah, it's enough. No, that wouldn't be a problem. 0.5 liters is plenty. That's a pint-ish. Okay, so what's it supposed to be? I mean, it's a golden ale, so obviously it's going to be golden in color. Uh, it should be like just about any other beer in that it's, well, I mean, like anything that's really good to drink, it's going to be like beer. Uh, so far, so good. You got the head on it. It's supposed to be there. A uh, little bit of lacing, it looks like, so far. Um, that's, that's pretty much what I expect. I can smell it from here. It smells pretty good. It smells like beer. Go figure. The lacing is pretty good on it, so that's a nice thing. It is a little bit hoppy. Not like a lot. Like, you're not going to notice, really, it, once you get to the second one, that there's hops in it. This is pretty easy drinking. 4.9%. It should be pretty easy drinking. Um, sometimes you get a golden ale where the, the uh, malt's a little bit more pronounced. Uh, this one is not like that. It's crisp and clean, and it's good. I could drink four more of these. I think I got six of them, so I've got a couple left. Um, is there a beer that this reminds me of? Um, have you ever had No Yeah? By Bells. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, something else. A, a little bit of Budweiser, but Budweiser's got a um, a more woody flavor to it. Beachwood Aging is what they'll probably say, but it, it's got a little bit more woody flavor to it as compared to this, which might have a little bit of a metallic taste, but I'm not real sure. I think that's just one of those flavors that you get from the Golden Ale when you make them right. Does this remind me of a story? Well, I picked this one out specifically because I noticed that the Red Wings won tonight, and the Red Wings are awesome and or were awesome and they're getting better now so they they actually win almost after their games that's that's real nice um considering how they've been for the last little while um when i was really little they weren't very good like they had been in the past few years and then they were really good for like 20 some years and then they were not good after that when they missed the playoffs that first time um, it was all downhill from there, but you know, high school was like the Russian five. And then shortly after that was, was the, the Chelios Red Wings where you had Brett Hull and the rest of the Russian five and 
they were stupid good then. Won a bunch of won, won a few cups, which was awesome. Um, amazing. I've only been to one game at the Joe. I haven't been down to the the Little Caesars Palace yet. Um, I uh, the the one at the Joe was kind of fun with with my family. I got to be one of the people that drove down, which was fine. Uh, park and all that stuff. Um, it was fun. Uh, I did get to go to the Joe one other time for Red Wings function. Actually, they were doing a a commercial for Detroit, I think, uh, Detroit Detroit Sports. Um, where we got to sing a song, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen and All City put out the song, It's Always a Good Time, and it was fun. Went down there, a bunch of people, we were going to do it on the steps of the Joe, and then it started storming, and then it got to be too late, so they put us in the Joe, so we were in the Joe, just the, the people that were there, and yelling about, whoa, whoa, it's always a good time, because, well, I mean, it is. Detroit sports is great. The best part about that was that my dad got a Nick Lindstrom bobblehead, and then we got tickets to the Tigers game that was going on that day, and I got a Prince Fielder bobblehead also, because, you know, back then, the Red Wings were pretty good, and the Tigers were pretty good also. <sighs> yeah, the lacing's really good on this. Lots of it. You can see it. Um... Yeah, that was a really good time. I like that. Super fun. It'd be fun to go down and see a Red Wings game. I'll have to find somebody that'll take me. I mean, or... I don't know. Seeing the Pistons there would be weird. I've been to see the Pistons a few times. At the, uh, at the Palace. I was too young to go to the Silver Dome to see them. Or, hmm, we were talking about this this last weekend, where they played before that, but it was not for very long, if I remember correctly. Um, like Kobo, maybe. I think. But it was super fun to go down and see the Red Wings play. And even to go and see the, the Pistons play, that was kind of nice. I didn't realize that... When the Pistons were playing at the uh, at the Silver Dome, and when they built the Palace at Auburn Hills, that they didn't have a a thing with with the Pistons for the Pistons to play at the Palace. It was just, I'm going to build this, and you're going to come out here because it's a really nice facility, which it was. I've been there a couple of other for a couple of other things too. Um, wrestling state finals i think i went there and um oh i got to see a concert there when i was in high school that was super fun um who was it um i hate god was the opener i heard they just got back together i mean this was i, I would say fairly recently but it was not uh like 10 years ago probably pretty close to that um and then after them it was the deftones and then White Zombie, who were really big at the time, and that's really why I went there, because I wanted to see them play. I was very disappointed, because after White Zombie was Pantera. Uh, Pantera put on a really good show. A really good show. Super fun. But also, the Deftones were really good, too, and White Zombie did not belong on that same stage. <sighs> but it was a good time. I mean, nosebleed seats... Mm -hmm. had no idea what the Deftones were like when I got there. Some dude in front of us was like, yeah, I've heard of the Deftones. They're like corn, but harder. I mean, and they are, but... But also, I didn't really know what corn sounded like at that point in time either. I had heard of them, but I didn't know, really. I mean, I listened to corn more as I got older, but I they're pretty close to the same, and I would say that the Deftones are a little bit harder, but I think they might have softened their their tunes to get big which i mean that's fine that could that could just be where they were in their life at that point in time i 
feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but that's fine. There's a lot of beer here. So anyway, hockey. It's kind of what this reminds me of. Watching hockey. Oh man, watching hockey. That reminds me of another time I was watching hockey. Went to one of my college roommates' places during our freshman year and decided to go to the Dexter Chelsea hockey game. Um, sitting in the stands and like, hey, that's Jeff Daniels. And it was Jeff Daniels sitting over in, like, just in, in and around. Um, uh, kind of dressed like he was getting ready to do Escanaba in the Moonlight. Had the, ja the, the uh, leather jacket with the fringe on it. It was kind of strange, but also, I mean, it's Jeff Daniels. It's kind of cool. He's just sitting there by himself. Nobody bugging, bugging him. It was neat. All right, that's pretty good. I could have another one. I probably won't tonight, but I could. Uh, so anyway, I've got a quote for you. This one's from Wayne Gretzky, the great one. Uh, he said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So go out there, do the thing. If you don't, you definitely won't make, make whatever it is you're trying to do. But if you do, you might get it. Which, I mean, sometimes it's scarier than not getting it, though, right? Uh, anyway, don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 on Untapped, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Um, I like to tell them. So let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that more people can see me, hear my stories. I like telling them. Um, I'll see you next time when you got time for a beer.